welcome back so we'll start with exercise 12.2 question number four to six so the first question that is given to us is a chord of a circle of radius 10 centimeters substanced at right angle at center at the center we have to find the area of the corresponding minor segment and major segment so first thing is this this diagram will not be given for exam but you'll have to be able to draw that okay so first thing you draw is you draw a circle and draw a circle of radius 10 centimeter that's the easiest thing at least you should know that so this okay draw it any way you want the next thing you have to do is you make sure that you draw a chord all right a chord so what is a chord is actually a line where you draw from any part that should not begin with a uh, center make sure you don't touch the center but this is all a chord okay this this given this uh, a line from this area to this becomes a chord so ab is the chord in the case of this uh, graph this this diagram now it's also given that a chord of a circle of radius 10 centimeters substands a right angle at a center so right angle means 90 degree at where where at at the center so at the center the angle that is formed is actually 90 degrees so what is this what does 90 degree means it's the theta so we're asked to find the area of the minor segment so we're asked to find the area of this minor segment clear so this red line is the minor segment the rest okay all of this rest becomes the major segment clear so major segment is uh, all of this apart from this uh, minor segment okay so all this area becomes the major segment clear with that now in order to find the area of the minor segment okay you follow this given uh, let me change the color of it follow this purple line okay so okay not does not really stand out so maybe I'll go with stick with blue so if you look at this see this blue area that I'm circling okay I'm, I'm drawing this is this not the sector is this not the minor sector right this is the minor sector okay so if I'm able to calculate the area of the minor sector and subtract it with this given triangle which triangle triangle a O and B then I'll be left with area of the minor segment okay I'll be left with just this area see the red mark here I'll be left with this so that will give me the area of the minor segment clear because we don't have a specific formula for minor segment area for minor segment we do have for area of a major sector or or segment but we don't have one for a major uh, segment okay so let's go okay so okay clear with this so okay the question okay sorry this is sector okay i'm seeing the question only now okay so this is major sector according to the question all right therefore let's write the solution clear the radius is given as 10 centimeter and we know that theta is 90 degree now before we begin let me talk, tell you about the triangle what which triangle do we have we have a o b but right here write this as o and this is a and b okay because see here what is a right angle triangle a right angle triangle is a triangle in which one of the angles is 90 degree so obviously if one of the angle of a triangle is 90 degree you straight away know that we're talking about a right angle triangle so it becomes very easy for us to draw this now you look at this o and a is given as 10 centimeter and ob is given as uh, ob is also given as 10 centimeter so now if this is a right angle triangle ab becomes the hypotenuse side ob becomes the base and this oa becomes the height right this is right so this is the definition i mean this is um the part the different parts of a right angle triangle okay so this will also come in handy remember the height is oa and the base is going to be ob so what is the area of a minor segment area of minor segment the area of minor segment is area of sector okay can i do as minor sector minus area of right let's write it right triangle a o b so area of minor sector formula is theta by 360 degree into pi r square now area of a right angle triangle is half into area of a triangle or right angle triangle since we know the height we can write it as half into base into height clear now theta is given as 90 degree pi they have specifically mentioned we have to use as 3.14 3.14 and the radius is given as 10 centimeters so 10 centimeter into 10 centimeter minus half into the base is 10 centimeter and the height is 10 centimeter okay so you cancel this so 5 cancel 0 and 0 from here 9 into 4 36 2 times 5 is 10 2 times 5 is 10 so you're you'll finally be left with 3.14 into 5 centimeter into 5 centimeter minus 
5 centimeter into 10 centimeter clear so if you multiply this you'll be getting this as 78.5 centimeter square centimeter centimeter so centimeter square minus 50 centimeter square okay so finally you do the subtraction you'll get 28.5 centimeter square that is the area of the minor segment now we're asked to find the area of major sector okay so this is easy we have a direct formula for that the area of a major sector is 360 degree minus theta divided by 360 into pi r square so what is theta in the case of this it's 90 divided by 360 into 3.14 into 10 centimeter into 10 centimeter so 360 minus 90 will give you 270 degree divided by 360 degree into 3.14 cent into you can just write it as 100 centimeter square so you cancel this 9 times 327 9 times 4 how much 36 4 times 25 will give you 100 okay so you're left with 3 into 3.14 into 25 centimeter square clear with this up to this much okay now you do the calculation 3 into 3.14 into 25 will give you 235.5 centimeter square okay the calculation part i'm just ending it because i think you should be doing this yourself okay so 235.5 centimeter square is the answer this is the area of the major sector okay so I've made a mistake writing your segment. We could have got a different answer. So be careful, okay? We're talking about the sector. So the next question will be question number five. Clear? See, in a circle of radius 21 centimeter, an arc substanced, an arc substanced 60 degree at the center. Find first the length of the arc. Second, the area of the sector formed by the arc. The third area of segment formed by the corresponding chord. Clear? Now, First, draw a circle of radius 21 centimeter. Now, an arc substance, an angle 60. So, this AB, here A, okay, let me just draw an, with another bend. Here, from this area to this, this is an arc, okay? Remember the definition of an arc, it is just a portion of the circle, right? So, this, we're saying that this is the arc and it substance 60 degree at the center. So, from here, we substance 60 degree from the center, clear? So, we're asked to find the length of the arc. So, we have a direct formula for that. For that, first, you write solution. Say the radius is going to be equal to 21 centimeter. And the theta is going to be equal to 60 degree. Up to this much. Right? Now, if you focus, we're asked to find the length of the arc. Okay? The length of the arc. It's not the length of the arc of a sector. We're asked to find the length of the arc of the circle. Okay? Be careful with that. Okay, so when we talk about the length of the arc of the circle, so therefore, first, the length of the arc, okay, the formula is going to be theta by 360 degree into 2 pi r, okay, remember, we are talking about the length of the arc, okay, clear they have not mentioned sector so we're talking about the length of the arc of the circle so theta is 60 by 360 you have 2 and here in this question they have not specifically mentioned us what values we can take for pi so let's try to take the easiest the easier values that is 22 by 7 into radius is 21 centimeter so you cancel this 6 into 6 is 36 2 into 3 is um 2 into 3 is 6, 7 into 3 is 27, and 3 into 3 will be cancelled, so 22 centimeter. So the length of the arc of the circle is going to be 22 centimeter. Play with that, okay? This is of a circle, okay? Not of a sector, remember that. The next we have to find is, we have to find the area of, of the sector. Second is, we have to find the area of the sector. Clear? So in order to find the area of the sector, all we have to do is we have to use the formula that is theta by 360 degree into pi r square. So this becomes 60 because theta is given as 60, 360 into 22 by 7. The radius is given as 21 centimeter into 21 centimeter. 
so 7 into 3 cancelled cancel this 6 into 6 3 into 2 2 into 11 so you're left with 11 into 21 centimeter centimeter so centimeter square so you take 11 into 21 how much do you get you'll be getting this as 231 centimeter square that means this is the area of the sector okay next value we have to find is the third value so what is the third value that we're asked to find we're asked to find the area of the segment formed by the corresponding chord so we have to take this clear okay so we're asked to find the area of the segment formed by the corresponding chord so we have to find this area okay so how do you go about this so area of the segment formed by the corresponding therefore area of the segment formed by the corresponding chord corresponding chord is going to be equal to the area of the sector minus area of triangle triangle AOB okay now you need to understand one more thing okay about regarding triangle AOB so what is triangle AOB this is 21 centimeter this is 21 centimeter and the angle is given as 60 degree so even we, we do not know this is O and then you see the triangle okay just focus on the triangle AB and AB so okay so we're talking about triangled AOB right now okay so see you see the two sides of a triangle both both of the two sides of the triangle have the same measurement right right clear so since they have same uh, length 21 21 centimeter according this becomes an isosceles triangle okay isosceles triangle means isosceles triangle is a triangle in which it have two equal sides but apart from having two equal sides since it is an isosceles triangle it will also have isosceles triangle has two equal sides plus two equal angles clear two equal angles okay so this is a very technical part you'll have to pay attention to this okay so see it has two equal angles two equal sides clear two equal sides this so it must have two equal angles but remember what is the sum angle property the sum of the angle of a triangle the angle of triangle it must be how much it must be equal to 180 degree so we're saying they should have two equal sides clear we they should have two equal we already know one angle that is 60 degree so we need to know the other angle so the only possibility is that angle a and angle b must also be 60 degree clear only when these two have equal angles only then we can find out 60 degree clear so two angles must be equal okay so these two i'm saying angle a and angle b is equal in such a way that when you add it with the third angle okay suppose we don't know this third angle you must get it 180 degree clear so this what becomes this becomes 60 degrees 60 degrees they all have equal angles so by default this also becomes 21 centimeters so if all the angles are equal and all the sides of this triangle are equal what does that triangle become this becomes an equilateral triangle in bracket you can write this as equilateral triangle okay clear they have two equal sides 21 centimeter 21 centimeter that means it's an isosceles triangle so since they have two equal side it is also understood that they must have two equal angles so angle a and angle b must be equal so you can put a value but the only possibility when you will get angle a equal to angle b is when 60 it's when this angle a and angle b is both 60 degree because you must also remember that the sum of all the angles will be only 180 degree you cannot go more than that you cannot go less than that it should be 180 degree okay so this is the only possibility clear so this by default becomes an equilateral triangle now we know the area of a sector is it is 231 centimeter square this we know now what is area of an equilateral triangle it is 3 by 4 side square okay remember this formula the area of an equilateral triangle you have studied in class 9 is 3 by 4 side square now let's go okay so you have 
231 centimeters square minus 3 by 4. What is the side measurement? It's 21 centimeters square. So 21 into 21 gives you what? It gives you 441 root 3 by 4 centimeters square. Clear up to this much? So you can take you can leave this as it is or take centimeter square outside and write finally write this as 231 minus 441 root 3 by 4 centimeter square so this is going to be the answer okay read the question try to understand the question clear so we'll go with the next question that is question number six so even for this question you draw a circle of radius 15 centimeter it substands at 60 degree at the center find the areas of the corresponding minor and major segments okay so we're asked to find this what is this area going to be this black area is going to be the minor segment okay and let me draw with a different color maybe blue so all this color all, all this region okay the blue region okay all this region is going to be the major segment okay clear now we have already done question number four how to find a minor segment right so let's just quickly dive in okay and find it out so let me stick with black so solution first write down whatever is given in the question the ra they have given the radius which is 15 centimeter they have also given the angle remember when we talk about angle we're talking about the value theta okay clear so we have to find first area of minor segment so again area of minor segment is equal to area of minor sector okay minus area of triangle a a a o b okay okay all right now see again you'll have to pay attention to this here this this is 15 centimeters so oa ob is again going to be 15 centimeter right because what is oa and oab here you can write oa equal to ob is equal to 15 centimeter these are both the radius right radius clear so you can again draw one more line here and you can write this as oe also this will also be 15 centimeter because this is the radius from the center of the circle to this other so by using the same explanation that i gave since this becomes 15 centimeters see 15 centimeter that means it is it is an isosceles triangle since this is, this is an isosceles triangle then the two degrees must the angles must it must have two equal angles so it's all of this will be again 60 60 degrees so this also will be 15 centimeter okay use the same explanation that i gave earlier clear all right okay isosceles triangle first remember this becomes 15 centimeter 15 centimeter two sides are equal so by the property of isosceles triangle if two sides are equal it means two angles should also be equal but you must think properly you cannot just put random angle saying 90 degree okay i'll put angle a as 90 degree and angle b also as 90 degree both of them have equal angles but according to the sum angle property if you add all the angles that means angle o plus angle a plus angle b you must get it as 60 180 degree clear okay so one easy way to understand is we understand it must have equal angles so angle a must be equal to angle b right so what is angle o is given as 60 so you can finally write this as 2 of angle a something like this okay and you can do the calculation here okay so you will be left with let me just do here 2 angle a you'll be left with 180 degree minus 60 degree so it will be 2 angle a this will become 120 degree so angle a will be 60 degree so if angle a is 60 degree that means angle b will also be 60 degree okay this is just some basic concepts all right uh, but you should understand this okay how we get 60 how can i say it's 60 and 60 okay but it's this explanation so area of the minor segment is this this is the formula now since this is again an isosceles triangle which form do i use 3 4 into a square which is side square see even in the question if you read okay i hope you have the textbook i have not written it here but they have also given us a clue a big clue that means what have they given we, they have told us to use pi as 3.14 okay it's there in the question i forgot to write it here but they have given used pi is equivalent to 3.14 and they have given root 3 as 1.73 so now this should be a clue why do we need root 3 that means root 3 is occurring somewhere okay so that should be a clue again so 60 degree by 6 360 
pi they have told us to use 3.14 so let's stick with that the radius is 15 centimeter into 15 centimeter minus write it as 1.73 according to what they have given side is again 15 centimeter into 15 centimeter okay clear with this up to this much so you can cancel out this 6 into 6 2 times 3 twos are 16 and 3 5 okay so you'll be left with 3.14 into i'll say 15 into fi uh, 15 into 5 okay i'll take the multiplication of that instead of writing it so centimeter square by 2 minus okay so you write this as 1.73 by 4 into 15 into 15 is 225 centimeter square okay clear with this so we'll do uh, calculation okay maybe my way of calculation might be different than yours so you stick with whatever you can okay but it's um whatever you find it easy so you find out the calculation clear so the calculation is 75 into 3.14 will give you okay it will give you 235.5 divided by 2 centimeter square minus 225 into 1.73 will give you 389.25 centimeter square divided by 4. So you do the division, okay? 235.5 divided by 2 gives you 117.75. 389, 389.25 divided by 4 gives you 97.3125. Uh, both of them have centimeter square. You can take common centimeter square. Okay. So let me just do a division for you in case for some of you who might be struggling in case you're struggling with division. So 4, 9 times are 36. So 6 and 8, you'll be left with 2, 9. 4, 7 times are 28. So you're left with one, bring down two. So you have to take decimal point here too. So four times three are 12, clear? So bring down five here. So four times ones are four, one, you have to put zero again. Four times twos are eight, take two, you're left, bring zero. And four times five are 20. So this is what you get, okay? So 117. You subtract 117.75 minus 97.3125 will actually give you 20.4375 centimeters square. Finally, we have to find area of major segment. Okay, now you look at area of major segment. Look at the graph, okay? I want you to focus on the graph. Let's go back. So you look at this, okay? It's rather a mess right now, our graph. So I'll wrap everything, okay? I'll wrap everything of this, okay? It's understood. So you understand which is the minor and major segment at least, right? So if I find the area of this entire circle, okay? Area of the circle will means all of this area. Clear? And, and you look at this and I subtract it with area of the minor segment. That means this area. I subtract it. I subtract the entire area and subtract this part, okay? Subtract this part. So, I abstract this part, okay? This is the area of the minor segment. So, what am I left with? Which area is left now? That means, now, this area only will be left. Blue area will be left, right? So, this blue area becomes the area of the major segment. Clear? So, this area is the area of the major segment. So, you're taking the black part. You're taking the area of the circle, subtracting it with the minor segment. Then, you'll get the area of the major sec segment. Clear? So, that means this, you can write it as area of circle minus area of minor segment okay so area of circle use the formula instead okay that is pi r square minus area of minor segment you already know the formula so i mean the value so just directly write it so write this as 3.14 this the radius is going to be 15 centimeter into 15 centimeter okay minus 20.4375 centimeter so you see calculate this okay this will give you 706.5 centimeter square minus 20.4375 centimeter square okay so this will finally give you 
686.0625 centimeters square now i'll just do a subtraction for those of you okay so this is the answer clear so the additional subtraction i'm just going to show it for students who are struggling okay in case you still you're not still not you're still not getting the hang of it clear so 15 into 15 will be 225 okay now what do i tell you about when you're multiplying it with decimal point forget ignore the point okay you do it at the end put the put the point only at the end so 5 into 4 is 20 so you're left with 2 4 into 4 into 2 8 plus 2 how much 10 4 into 2 9 900 5 into 1 5 2 times 1 2 2 times 2 again 2 3 into 5 15 so you'll be left with 1 here 3 into 2 6 so 7 3 into 6 6 okay 3 into 2 6 so 0 5 9 10 11 11 plus 5 6 1 seven eight nine ten so ten and one so you get seven zero six point uh, zero five zero so you look you look at this after decimal point how many digits are there two digits so you see from here two digits okay so you can put it there now subtraction seven zero point five and you have twenty point four three seven five so how do you go subtraction with this some of you you can skip okay for those of you who know but those of you who don't know bear this okay so how do you subtract this so you'll have to put zeros everywhere okay clear you have to subtract the greater number with the less number so this becomes 10 this will become 9 this will become 9 you borrow one from here so this will become 9 or 5 oh, sorry not 9 4 okay clear so 10 minus 5 is 5 9 minus 7 is 2 9 minus 3 is 6 4 minus 4 is 0 now point here so 6 minus 0 is 6 so 0 is great less than two so you have to borrow from seven so you're left with this so 10 minus two is eight and seven minus uh, seven so you're left with six so that is how i get the answer 686.0625 clear so we shall end the video here and we will continue with the next question in the next video